Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I would like to share with you my at-home gym, as well as maybe a few tips that I have uh, for having an at-home gym. Uh, we've had this for um, about two years now. I added a few things, took away a few things, but um, and have been working out on and off for two years. Uh, my son works out quite a bit. Um, I try to work out. I have been really good for past two months. And then my husband works out occasionally. But uh, we like having a home gym because uh, we don't have a lot of time during the day to be driving to a gym and um, uh, driving back to the gym. It's at least an hour of our time that we could be putting towards something else. So anyways, it's not a beautiful gym. I had somebody comment on one of my videos. I think it was when I was redoing my office, which is right here beside the gym, that they've never seen such an ugly gym. Well, I'm not looking for beautiful gym because I am working with the space that I have without uh, spending obscene amounts of money to get it to be beautiful because... Let's face it, whether it's beautiful or not, it's whether you're working out or not. So, like I said, I'm not going for beautiful. I'm going for functional, motivational, and that's what I'm looking for. So, let me just kind of go through what's here, and then I'll let you know what I use, and maybe some tips. So, over here, we have elliptical and a treadmill. I have the BH Fitness. They're both uh, machines by BH Fitness. And I have to say, we love it. Like, it's, it's, they're both great machines. I have absolutely no complaints. They are a good price. We did buy it at a specialty store, a uh, gym store. So they are a bit higher than, let's say, things that you would find at like Walmart but they're not um, as high-end as some of the gym equipment that they sell and then over here I do not know what this is called but that's my son's department right there I do use the bench occasionally and then here is his punching bag which occasionally you see swinging when I'm doing my DIYs because like I said I am using the space that I have. This is in my basement. My daycare room is in that area, which takes up a lot of space, as well as the storage for the daycare supplies takes up a lot of space. So I am working with this. I can put my gym in a garage because I don't think my machines would work very well in minus 42 weather. So anyway, so then moving over here, I have uh, all... Well, my weights and my son's weights and these uh, weights for his weight bench thingy. And then there's more weights here. So down the road, I have been looking actually on Facebook Marketplace and on Kijiji to see if I can find a bench uh, for or like a dumbbell rack. Because uh, I know my son has few more dumbbells in his room and then there's my dumbbells and so I would just like to have a rack that I can put that in that looks a little bit neater. There are some files that my son uses when he works out. Then I have this thick gym mat um, and then I have yoga mat, more yoga mats over there. And then this shelf has nothing to do with gym, it's just my furnitures, painting supplies, and things like that. I've got an exercise ball and a stepper. And then over here, I had actually taped with packing tape these hooks, and I put the resistant bands and skipping ropes up there. And then to keep myself motivated, I had made these signs, which my, son says, my husband says that they're very cheesy. But... Um, if he doesn't like them, he needs to commit to exercise and then I'll take them down. And then I have my TV that I, and I also have a DVD player over here. So let me just go over here. So um, I like to use reusable water bottle. However, there are times when I bring, I use a large mason jar for my water, but sometimes it's not enough when I'm working out. So I will occasionally reach for these water bottles because I don't want to have to go upstairs and get another, refill my water. 
And then I, in this little jar, I keep extra headphones because there's nothing worse than I'm ready to come down and then I forgot my headphones upstairs. So I like to keep extras in here. There is a DVD player because I do have a pretty big selection on my duster that I keep here for dusting of different workout videos here. I do prefer workout videos over anything else, but I do... Right now, I have signed up for Beachbody On Demand, so that is what I'm doing. I'm doing going through the 21-day fix. I'm on my second round of it, and I'm really enjoying it, and I combine it with a um, machine, either most, most of the time elliptical, but occasionally treadmill. And then I have my little vaporizer here, my a diffuser, I guess, and I like to diffuse lemongrass, um, orange sweet orange and bergamot together um it's like um a very uplifting um scent when it's combined together i think there's a, a uh, there, there's a, no i don't think there is a store called sage here and they have a essential oil that's called liquid sunshine which i love but i ran out of it but this is very similar i think they use lime and red grapefruit or pink grapefruit i think and bergamot whereas i don't have pink grapefruit or lime so i do lemongrass and orange which it's still a very nice scent what i very uplifting like wake waking up so my sign i made and then I have towels because you always need towels when you're working out to either wipe your mat or wipe down yourself. So then I have my little office supply stuff printer and my tripod, my lights, uh, my small tripod and my light is down there. Like I said, functionality. And then here, I actually picked up this board, which I was super happy at Dollarama. It is a whiteboard foam board and it was $2. So, and I just keep track of my weight and all the exercises that I have done so far. So that's what I like to have. I do have to take that down when my son has friends over and they play, they, he'll bring his PS4 down and they play video games, but that's okay. It's just taped up. <laughs> I guess that's the benefit of not having solid walls. And then I just have my 21 day fixed calendar so I know which workout I'm supposed to do on which day. And then my yoga mats are here and these things that are, I don't know what they're called, but you use them for push-ups. So then in this these drawers, so I showed you the videos. And then in this drawer, I use my travel workout stuff, things that I take with me when I'm traveling, like there's a belt for running and stuff like that down there. So I think that pretty much covers it. We keep our shoes in that corner. I think I have enough room if I were to move the chair, maybe to even add a bike down the road or another type of a machine. I'm not a bike person, so I prefer these two elliptical the most. But yeah, so I think some of the tips that I have is, again, don't worry about the space that you're having. Um, just do it anywhere. Um, the reason why I have a space is because there's so many of us working out. If I was just working out and doing my videos, I would most likely just do it in a family room. It doesn't really matter where you're doing it as long as you're doing it. And having things accessible and available to you for when you need them, I'll just come down, pull out the mat. My weights are right here, pull, put them up. If I have to switch weights, they're right there. I don't have to be searching for them anywhere. And that's why I like having stuff out and available for me so I'm not I don't get discouraged because honestly I get up at 4 40 in the morning to work out and any distraction will, will discourage me from from working out so having things set up I'll, I'll even put out my workout clothes in the morning so I don't have absolutely no excuse not to come down um I buy 
machines we bought brand new and the stuff we bought brand new weights you can find them second hand if that's what you want look for deals there's always deals to be had to find so i mean and if you need encouraging words put them up if you need anything that will motivate you or encourage you do, use it put it out you know i like to come down and turn my diffuser on because it's such a nice smelling uh, such a nice smell it makes like like i said it almost like wakes me up so like find find what works and just do it just because some things work for me might not work for you but just find what works and do it that's all that matters so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you're brand new to my channel, I would love for you to press the subscribe button and stick around, press the notification button so you don't miss out any of the new videos that I post. If you want any other gym-related, exercise-related type of videos or you want me to answer any of your questions, please comment down below or send me a private message. I will be glad to answer any questions that you have or make videos that you would like to see. So until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.